This video will demonstrate inputting wind loads on an open frame. First we need to set up the wind load values and in order to do that we go to SDS2 Engineering Setup, SDS2 Job Setup, Wind Load Values. And here we have all of the different options. We're going to select Open Structure, then we'll need to input a value for C sub F which has to do with the ratio of solid area to gross area of the frame and two, uh, using a value of 2 is conservative uh, an importance factor of 1, wind speed, directionality factor and then for each of the 8 directions topographic factors and exposure category and all of these can be found in ASCE 7. Once we have all these values input then we want to uh, look at the structure here. Let's look at the uh, a plan view here. And we cut a section in the direction we want the, the wind loads added. So we'll select section view and point the direction we want the wind loads to go. Then we go to model wind load add and we'll just call it wind load 1 and here again we're going to put it on the uh, west face because that's where we're at the wind speed and the uh, C sub F value again we hit OK and then we want to look at what the loads uh, look like so we go to wind load west face and the wind loads are there we can see them better if we go to the isometric view here and there shows the, uh, the wind loads that have been added.